he asked people who actually became customers, what was the thing that almost made you not buy from us? Mm. And that is really interesting because th- when I see a, a prospective customer, there's all this series of failure points that can happen up into and that can kill your sale. And knowing what those failure points are is really interesting. And this is what I'm saying about you have to research the buying context behind this and mm. all the steps they go through. Some people call it customer experience or whatever. It doesn't really matter. You just have to find out where these value points are in your business and, and identify them and clamp down on them and reduce the percentage of churn you can at each of those value points as much as possible. Mm. That question is looking for that value point And that question is gold because um, not only does the new customer who you acquired, um, you know, enjoy sort of imparting their opinion on you, but like it is something that you can then improve next time and go, hey, thanks for telling us about that. We've actually done this the next time and, you know, really want to appreciate your feedback and, you know, this is what we're doing. So, you know, thanks for that. And I go, oh, fuck, you know, this, this sorry, um, this, this, this company listened to us and, and made a change uh, based on that. And you actually increase probably the, the loyalty of that customer uh, over time mm-hmm. as well in the process. So, mm-hmm. you know, you kind of win twice. Um, but yeah, like I would say go back to the customers who, who are in your category, however you want to define your category or pool of mm-hmm. customers uh, and that those are the people that are not your customers that are the, the your opinions that matter the most because that's where your growth potential always lies not mm. in your little niche um uh space that you own if you yeah. want to grow